What's up guys, Sleepy Modder here back with another video. And when you get a new computer, most of us have to deal with the tedious task of installing all the applications and programs we need when we want to go ahead and use our system. Now on the PC side, we've had Nine-Nine as a great option for quite some time, offering a simple installer and simple selection process. But what about the Mac side? Now Nine-Nine actually doesn't offer any Mac support at the time of recording. That may change in the future, but at the moment, there's nothing really been on the Mac side that's been too great. And well, enter Mac Apps. Now Mac Apps works in roughly the same way as Nineite and has a really good selection of applications to choose from. Whether you're looking for browsers, productivity applications or developer applications, even utilities and more. In fact, some of these things that I do find on Mac Apps, I kind of wish would be ported over to the Nineite side. It's just that good. Basically, just like Nineite, it is a multi-application installer, which is super simple to use no matter what your skill level is when it comes to using a Mac or even a PC. And again, some of the tools on this site is actually legitimately super useful, such as PyCharm and IntelliJ are really powerful programming applications that are just on here for ease of installation, whereas normally I'd have to then jump over to the uh, websites and download them manually, which is a bit of a pain for me personally. So on the Mac app site, I really like the selection of applications you can choose from when you want to go ahead and grab some apps for your Mac. Now Mac Apps also too offers other utilities such as Caffeine and Trim Enabler, which are really useful things and every Mac owner should have Caffeine installed on their system, and also to a strong selection of messaging applications. I mean, come on Nine Night, who still uses Trillion and anyone else still using Pigeon? So I really think Nine Night needs to update their messaging platform when it comes to what they are offering there. If you still use Trillion or use Pigeon, do let me know down in that comment sections, but uh, yeah, it's not really the most mainstream thing anymore. So that's a bit of a problem there. Whereas on the Mac app side, there's definitely a lot more things here. So let's go ahead and install some applications. The process is super simple, but let's take a walkthrough here. First off, I'm gonna start by selecting the applications that I want to use. For internet, I grab these guys, productivity, I grab the Google Drive and not really else much here. Developer, I grab these tools and also too, speaking of tools in the tools department, I also too grab these guys, though I wish there were a few more tools here and there. And also too, in utilities, I grab Caffeine, which is a must for any Mac users. And in terms of multimedia, I grab these guys, though I only really use Steam for Steam in-home streaming as I can stream the games from my PC over to the Mac and it seems to work mostly fine depending on the games. And then finally for messaging, I really don't grab that much. Once we're happy with the list of apps that we do want to go ahead and grab, we're going to jump up to the top of the menu and go ahead and click install apps. And basically this guy will pop up right here and now we can go ahead and paste it into the terminal by pushing command space and searching for terminal and boom, it'll start downloading and installing the apps that you did choose. It'll basically use a terminal bash command to go ahead and start running the script. So unlike Nine-Nine, it actually doesn't download a program, rather you actually run it through the terminal itself, which I found to be just about the same. Sure, the UI could have been nicer, but at the end of the day, still works perfectly fine and is really simple to do so. So copy and paste it into your terminal, give it about five to 10 minutes, depending on your internet speed and depending on how many apps you are downloading, and boom, this little window will come up and you are done and the apps are installed. Navigate over to your applications folder and you'll notice, boom, they are all installed and ready to go. Now, just like over on the PC side with Nanite, these guys don't include any bundled nonsense and weird installers. For example, those free offers for those games you totally don't want when it comes over to the gaming side. So it's really simple to install the apps that you want and there's no chance of any weird viruses and stuff like that, which is another thing that I really do like. Now, unfortunately, unlike Nanite, it actually doesn't work as an updater. So for example, if you are running Nanite, you can actually keep that original download and keep rerunning it to keep the applications up to date. However, Mac apps unfortunately doesn't work in the same particular way. Sure, you could run the same script again and just override everything, but it's not necessarily an update like what we get on the Nine-Nite side. So if you do want to keep it as an updater, unfortunately, it's more likely to overwrite the existing applications rather than just basically go ahead and update them. So do keep that in mind. Overall, Mac apps is one of the simplest way to install mass amounts of applications on your new Mac, and it works really, really well. Much like Nine-Nite, the interface on the web 
page is super simple and easy to navigate, even if you aren't the most technical, it's simple and the instructions are well laid out. Installing it on your system is also do relatively simple, though with that being said, I'd still like some sort of GUI that would be downloaded and then run there. But at the end of the day, Terminal is still a decent way to install these applications and it is a very powerful tool at that. I really do personally like Mac apps as it has a lot of applications that I use all the time, such as programming applications and also do quite a few utilities and overall it just really flat out works. Overall again, the site is really well polished and the suggestion box is one of the most amusing ones I've seen in quite some times when it comes to these applications. And if you do have a new Mac or have multiple Macs to deploy, it is an extremely simple tool that I just can't recommend enough. But do let me know down in that comment section whether you use multi-installers like this guy or whether you are still manually heading over to each website to go ahead and install the software. If you want to check out Ninite or Mac apps, I've left them linked both down in the description box. They both work extremely well. So with that being said, thanks all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Wow.